Got the right colors on tonight. John Gruden in the house, and let me tell you what I like about this guy. Dejon Wolf takes the bubble screen from Cole Kramer and finds a seam. 57 yards for the touchdown. Eden Prairie. 7 0 in the early going. Got off to a fast start tonight. Cole Kramer with the quick hitter. Dejon Wolf, he gone from there. Breaks one tackle down the sideline. Eden Prairie up 7 0. Kramer. Very next play, junior quarterback Cole Kramer out to Dejon Wolf. He does the rest. 57 yards on the touchdown, and the number one rated Eagles are in front. 7 0. Lakeville football, Brennan Kubler. 20 yard completion to Zach Breden. But then the Eagles defense turns it on. Colin Penn, Cade Hansen, the big hit, tackle for the loss. DJ Johnson streaking for the end zone. Braden Walsh punches it out. The ball is hits the pylon. It's a touchback. EP's up 13-0 at half. Check out the play action. The Panthers biting big time. Kramer lost it out to his tight end, Will Sather. Third quarter, Falonico, 38-yard run behind that great offensive line. And then Kramer goes to work to Wolf again. 13 yards on the touchdown strike. They get the two-point conversion, and it's Eden Prairie up 21-0. Later, 21-6. Into the third quarter, Kramer again. He'll find Wolf again. There's Wolf with a nice shifty move. He's into the end zone, and it's 21-0 EP after the two-point conversion. Still in the third, Kramer, this is his best pass of the night. 61 yards right on the money to Jack Tuttle. He hauls it in. The fourth touchdown pass of the night from Kramer. This is a pretty play. 65 yards on the touchdown, and the Eagles are on their way up 28-6. But just for good measure, Kramer to Davis Jager. 21 yards down to the six. It would set up the linebacker slash running back, Antonio Montero, and it's all Eden Prairie. The number one team in 6A wins big, 41-13 over Lakeville North. Yeah, you know, we worked hard this week in practice. We grinded it out, you know, getting ready for this game, and uh, we came prepared. In games like this, with this level of intensity, you know, games one up front, um, you know, they're a phenomenal team. Uh, but you know what? We came ready, I, and I told our guys that, hey, stay focused, but got to get a little nasty out there and then bring it. You know, just as a team, we played unbelievably well. Coach Grant, just how he calls plays, just he's a very, very smart guy. And just overall, it was an awesome effort. Expectations, you know, are just uh, get better day by day, every practice, and eventually get that ring. You know, we've played in big games like this before. This is not something that our kids are, you know, the history of our game and uh, at, at Eden Prairie, our kids, this is why they play football here, to play in this situation. C.J. Warren, this is a huge sack for Centennial. And then Ryan Coob to Trevor DeBlack. This is a 60-yard play on the slant that would set up a touchdown in the second quarter that would put the Cougars up 13 to nothing. Coob will finish the drive and score the touchdown. Centennial shocks Totino, 25-17, the final tonight. Perfect night for a football game, as we said, and two teams that believe they have a chance to make some noise this season. Wow, looks like fun, doesn't it? Christian Vassar is just a sophomore for Wyzetta. He gets outside and gets the edge. And he scores a touchdown. The only one for the Trojans all night, however. Minnetonka took over. The old quarterback sneak usually doesn't reap this type of reward. Aaron Severson is in the secondary, gets a step, and he's gone. 70 yards for six. Minnetonka wins it 21 to 6. 2 and 0 in 6A. Braden Luvandowski gets the sack against Blaine right here. And then Marcus Krupke, the quarterback, back to pass, but he can't find anybody. Defense is on him. He scrambles down to the 20. Same drive, and Krupke will find Ben Fiedler, who will break a tackle and get into the end zone. St. Michael Albertville is 2-0 in 6A with a win tonight at Blaine. 40. Spotlight type game, St. Michael Elberville and Blaine, both coming off impressive week one wins. Mitchell Cardis gets outside for the Knights. The referee gets blocked, can't see him step out of bounds. He tight ropes it, then loses his shoe on the way to the end zone. Now that's a run. St. Michael had it going offensively. Marcus Krupke to Zach Schlein for six. 
St. Michael Elberville moved up a class and has answered the challenge. Four last year, a TD each in the first, and then here in the second, St. Michael Elberville star Mitch Cardis busts loose and goes 72 yards for glory. It was only 15-7 St. Michael Elberville at half. Boy, the Knights have waited a long time for a shot at the state's big boys, and it appears they're going to make the most of it. Deshaun Phillips rings up another long TD as the Knights blew it wide open. They pull away and win 40 to 20. Just whoop, we got another highlight here. Sorry about this. This is Edina and Rosemount, and that's Matt Cavanaugh. Touchdown run, 37 yards. The Edina Hornets would win tonight at Rosemount, 20 to 17. So Edina is now 2-0 on the season. Big win tonight for them on the road at Rosemount. Champlin Park's Joey Falls takes it 16 yards for the touchdown as the Rebels look to go 2-0 on the season. Devin Gray finishes this drive with a one-yard run and it's 14-0. Anoka comes back to cut it to 14-6. Short TD by Hunter Way, but Champlin Park is 2-0 and guess what? They go to St. Michael Albertville next Friday night. They win 42 13. Hardly one for the old resume reel tonight. Turnovers plagued both teams. An inability to hang on to the football, or maybe it was just good defense. I don't know. Prior Lake turns it over. Maple Grove gets the ball back. Then Maple Grove returns the favor on the next play. Yeah, not much scoring because of it. Tanner Wilkins Kirchen did score one here for Prior Lake on the reception. The difference ended up coming in the form of a field goal, though too little too late for Prior Lake. They lose to Maple Grove 9-6. to six. Plays their home games on the turf at the University of St. Thomas. Tonight taking on Mount The Raiders get on the board by the ground, trying to bounce back from an opening loss to Totino Grace. Moundsview 0-1 as well coming in. They get a lift. A little pass to Max Janes turns into a big play. He takes it down the sideline, does everything but score a touchdown. They said he was down before he broke the plane, so Alex Relling finished it from short distance for six, but the Raiders rally. Creighton Darham Hall, 23, Moundsview, 21. And patient A highlights Jonathan Leesner to Garrett Mag. This guy can play. Big touchdown uh, for the Crusaders to put him up 8-0. A little bit later, check out Mike Stern. Big run, up the middle, long TD run, and it's all St. Croix Lutheran tonight. How about this catch? and throw first by Leister, and then the catch by Mag in the corner. Just a beautiful play. 50 to 14 was the final, and then there was some, well, some unnecessary stuff happening in this game. You know, there's no place for fighting in high school football, and things got out of hand a little bit tonight. I give the coach credit right there, holding back one of his players who came out on the field. You can't have that stuff. St. Croix Lutheran wins 50 to 14. The Angels, though, have this guy, Jack, uh, Jack Anderson. Anderson. Two-way standout offers from Air Force, Army, Navy. Here's why. Watch this one, Dad. Truck sticks. Oh now, one God. guy, oh, but two my. guys. He punished that yeah, guy. Yeah, he was a beast. So wow. was the Holy Angels defense. Alex Gillard blocks the punt. Right place, right time. Jason Miller. Right this is against hands. a good team. It South is. St. Paul's good. Rumbles down to the seven-yard line. And guess what? Guess who it sets up? It's Anderson. Out of the Wildcat. Bounces it outside for the score as AHA wins 18 to seven. Apple Valley, St. Thomas Academy, both forces in the suburban Maroon sub-district. And check this out, third quarter, he likes to live dangerously. Damian Swanson takes the kick out out of the end zone. Not always the best decision, but it pays off. 100 yards to the house. Eagles take a seven nothing lead. He could fly later in the third quarter. Tyler Cardella calls his own number from two yards out. Sneaky, sneaky, as the Eagles go on to win 14 to zip. Park playing Matamidi, first quarter, Wolfpack. They force a key fumble, because just two plays later, it's Grant Glazier. He's going to hook up with their star, Edmund and Quain. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I know you're a ball player. You're showing it right here. You have the wheels. After that, though, Mata Media takes this one over. Adam Olsen pounds it in for the three-yard touchdown as the Zephyrs win 42-14. Watch this right here. Eric Lasuski literally rips the ball free by himself. It's one of my favorite plays in football. All effort, all heart. It saves a touchdown for the Knights because later on, it's a bullet pass from Brendan Wright to Adam Price for the 10-yard score as Irondale wins again 35 
to 14. De La Salle dancing with Simley tonight. And speaking of dancing, watch this. The Daniel wow. Thomas. Oh, he's got some dance moves. Shifty. Great footwork there. Then later on, Evan Francois keeping himself. This is a great run. He cuts it back. And talk about a guy who's tough to bring down. That's effort right there. Just refusing. No is not the answer for him. And then we have to talk Sage. about this guy, Sage Brooker. All he does is make big plays. No wonder he's getting D1 looks right now. What a talented running back he is for Vila Sal. They go on to win 38-15. to Well, Minneapolis North taking on St. Anthony tonight. And early on, it is the Huskies strike. Oh, this is Fridley. This, this is this Highland is, Park yeah. and Fridley. Yeah, that was Ani scoring. And then a bad snap, punt, and Highland Park would take the lead. On a, on the uh, tries to get the game taken down. Then it's Noah Cowenhoven to Nate Soto on the touchdown pass right there. Beautiful Fridley win, uh, losing, however, tonight to Highland Park. Final score in that game was 40 to 21. Mount West Tonka took on St. Paul Johnson for the second straight week. They went to the air. Brandon Holkin into Evan Dahl. Nice play. That got them close. Alex Farwell with the finish. Wide open, the big tight end. They move to 2-0 and to open the season. Mountain West Tonka 27-20 over Johnson. Now we got Minneapolis North. Take yeah. it on St. Anthony tonight early on. It's the Huskies striking first. Josiah Johnson, beautiful pass to Troy Ellison. Nice. He'll take it in for the touchdown. But that would kind of wake the pollers up tonight. Off the option, Omar Brown showing how shifty he can be. Takes it in for the touchdown. Great cutback right there and stretches out. For the score, big win for North tonight. 46-15 is the final. New Prague in Rochester Century tonight. Nathan Berg to Carter Seymour for the score. New Prague up 16-14. Century would answer. They line up for a field goal. They fake it. I love this. Zach Olson hauls in the go-ahead touchdown. Nice play. Do we have a final? We do. 21-16. Century, a winner over New Prague tonight. Through the first quarter, scoreless game, Raptors finish the drive with six. Riley Tuckner finds Deron Pittman for a three-yard connection. 7-0 Eastridge. Now to the second quarter, same score. Ponies finish the drive with Mason Green's fourth rushing TD of the season. Ties the game up at seven apiece, headed into halftime. Now to the second half, three minutes in, the boys in red strike big. Mark Retker finds Cooper Yeary hit that circle button. Big spin move. Yeary takes it 42 yards and gives the Ponies their first lead of the season. 14-10 game now in the fourth. Raptors retake the advantage. Pittman gets his second score of the night. Eastridge takes a 17-14 lead in a back and forth battle at Pony Stadium. One minute to go in the fourth now. Last chance for the Ponies. Retker sacked and a heartbreaking defeat is the result. 17-14. Stillwater falls to the Raptors in this one. Finally broke its long losing streak with a 16-8 win over Forest Lake on Friday night. Coon Rapids came out strong and scored on their opening possession. Kenneth Nawachi got in on a six yard receiver screen that made it seven nothing Cardinals. Alex Finley made a 36 yard field goal off the crossbar to give the Cardinals a 10-0 lead at the half. Forest Lake came up with a big play of their own at the end of the third quarter to set up a dramatic finish. Tristan Cordy scored on a 70-yard catch and run, and a two-point conversion made it a two-point game going to the fourth quarter. Jalen Salazar scored for Coon Rapids late in the fourth, and the defense was able to hold on for the win after that. It's the first win for the Cardinals in almost three full seasons. They're now 1-1 one and one on the season. St. Cloud Tech stands on the opposing sidelines. And we're going to second half we go, and it's Nate Trewick finding James Kazor, who gets just two feet in for the score. Tech up big. Brainer, though, would try to find an offensive groove late in the third quarter when Joe Stolsky finds Pat Jervinek in the middle of the field for the nice pickup here. That would set this up later in the drive. Stolsky, he's going to keep it himself. He'll gallop in the end zone for the touchdown, but all St. Cloud Tech in this one. They hand the Warriors their first loss of the season. Piers at home tonight against Holding Ford. Let's start with some defense. Fumble on the snap. Huskies recover, but Reese Kassman is there for a nice tackle for the loss. The next Pioneer possession, it's Luke Gertz from one yard out to put the Pioneers on the board. They would go on to win this one, 36-14. They're now 2-0. Nevis tagged the ninth best team in the state. They host Winnie Mac, and the Tigers didn't take long opening drive. Photographer loses the ball, Colin Selbert. Zach Henry walks into the end zone, 
6-0 home team. First Patriot drive, Micah Olsen launches a deep ball, but look at the play by Jack DeWolf for the interception. That would set this up ensuing drive. Kyle Schmidt on the dive for six more. All Nevis in this one, 46-12. They're also 2-0 on the season. 